Okay, we've interrupted our regular pro our uh, news bulletin to go over live to Moscow and see what is going on in a press conference between the Iranian foreign minister and his counterpart. Let's take a listen. I'm very happy to be here. I don't know if it is uh, the third time. I guess it's the fourth time that I'm here after the uh, coronavirus pandemic. I'm here in Moscow and uh, I had good talks with my uh, good colleague and old friend, Mr. Lavrov. As he said, a variety of issues were discussed and I'm happy to inform you that the Sputnik vaccine yesterday uh, was registered was registered in Iran and was confirmed by Iranian health officials. And in the near future, uh, we hope that we will be able to both uh, buy and jointly produce this vaccine uh, between uh, similar uh, institutes of Iran and Russia. As for bilateral ties, given the importance of uh, the importance that the leaders of both countries attach to mutual relations, uh, we made good progress and today we discussed how to further cement bilateral ties in different sectors in the area of energy transportation and in other areas we held talks uh, and about a fruitful and constructive uh, uh, cooperation on the nuclear energy and uh, uh, we also discussed ways of promoting this cooperation we also discussed issues pertaining to the Caspian Sea and the Caspian Sea littoral states also we discussed uh, regional issues once again I'd like to congratulate uh, Mr. Putin and uh, the Russian Federation because they managed to uh, settle a crisis in our region which has led to the killing and to the deaths of a number of military personnel as well as civilians in the Karabakh region. Today, we are on the threshold of entering a new era where we can turn differences into cooperation so that we will be able to use regional cooperation in order to move towards further synergy in this region and open up ways that had remained locked for more than three uh, decades and in order to uh, further promote regional co uh, economic cooperation in the region and also to promote uh, economic cooperation between the Azerbaijan Republic, Armenia and other countries in the region. We discussed uh, in this regional tour we are, uh, that I am I have launched. Uh, I'm going to travel to all uh, neighboring countries in the, the countries neighboring the Azerbaijan Republic and also the Georgia, Turkey, Russia, and, uh, and we are uh, we held very good negotiations. Uh, as for Russia, uh, Syria, Iran and Russia join uh, have common ground on Syria. We believe that cooperation is needed between all Syrian parties. It is necessary that the humanitarian situation in Syria as well as the humanitarian status there be uh, taken care of and the international community should not compromise uh, this humanitarian situation for the political interests of certain parties. As for Afghanistan, we held good talks. The, we said that the rule of law and the cooperation of all groups, including the Taliban, one of um, whose delegation is Iran today, and uh, they are holding talks with my colleagues in Tehran. Uh, we said that uh, it is necessary. Then we hope we will be able to have a comprehensive community and a good cooperation in Afghanistan. We held talks on the Persian Gulf, given the necessity of dialogue and cooperation among all Persian Gulf countries. And we thank efforts made by Russia in that regard. And we welcome those efforts. And we hope that our neighbors, the Arab countries in the region, will return to the uh, will return will give a positive response to Iran's offer of talks and instead of pinning their hopes on those who will not help them we hope those Arab countries will return to their own region as for Yemen we hope that with the, with international cooperation 
it is uh, this uh, uh, humanitarian disaster is settled. We are seeing the human sufferings in uh, Yemen in this, uh, and we, I hope we will be able to have a ceasefire and talks between the Yemeni groups in Yemen. We have always welcomed Russia's positive role in this regard, and Iran is ready to hold talks with the, the UN Special Representative and uh, cooperate with the UN in order to bring different Yemeni groups to the negotiating table in order to uh, establish a, a broad-based government in Yemen rather than having war and bloodshed there. Generally speaking, our region and uh, cooperation between Iran and Russia are aimed at boosting peace and stability in the region, and we are ready to cooperate with Russia, whether on the Caucasus region or on the Persian Gulf and on Syria, on Afghanistan, and also on the international community. We are happy that uh, we reached a common an important agreement about cyberspace and we hope that in the near future we will be able to sign a cultural agreement between the two countries and it is being signed is ready for a signature we hope that in the near future we will sign this cultural agreement in order to further boost mutual cooperation in the culture sector as well once again i thank my friend sergey lavrov and the russian government and nation for their hospitality we hope that the year 2021 will be a good year for all of us. And uh, I didn't talk about the JCPOA because uh, uh, our stances and Russia's are all the same on the JCPOA. In the name of God, hello and greetings to you. I'm Darabi from the IRIB News. Um, I have a question to you, uh, please, both of you, please answer my question. Given that, uh, given the new developments on the international stage, especially the coming to power of the new administration in the U.S., what is your evaluation of relations between Iran and Russia after these developments? Thank you. Okay, you're looking at live images coming through there from Moscow. What is happening there is uh, Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif on a regional tour, which involves uh, Baku, Moscow, Yerevan, Tbilisi, Ankara, uh, is having a press conference with his counterpart. One of the important highlights there, aside from the fact that the two countries share a lot of common interests, such as in the fields of energy and transportation, as he said, um, and also aside from the fact that he thanked Russia for resolving the Nagorno-Karabakh-Azerbaijan crisis, um, he talked about uh, the Iranian foreign minister, how he said that Iran's offer of uh, talks with Arab countries, uh, in which he's hoping for a positive response. Now, I'll say that with a little bit of doubt, because I'm not too sure if the actual translation was in effect what it was. But there's something uh, that is uh, perhaps happening between uh, trying between efforts, whether it's from Iran or from the Arab countries, uh, to have uh, some kind of resolve uh, to happen, mainly that centers around Saudi Arabia and Iran. And uh, according to what we heard, um, that this is something that's welcomed by Iran. Also regarding uh, Yemen, he talks about how international cooperation needs to be exerted more on the humanitarian aspect of this. Um, and, of course, uh, Zarif said that uh, our hopes for a ceasefire in order to have talks between uh, groups and negotiations or groups to happen in order for negotiations to occur. And uh, Zarif reiterated the fact that there needs to be a broad-based government in Yemen. Uh, the significance of this is important, one, because of the fact that you have that couple highlights that I mentioned, but also because, uh, you know, towards the end of the eight-year government of uh, the current government of Iran, uh, these uh, important uh, visits aim to somewhat uh, draw conclusions on perhaps past efforts. And uh, the countries involved here that were talked about was Syria, Yemen, Afghanistan, uh, also Lebanon and Iraq prior, which uh, no comments were made by the Iranian foreign minister. So live there from Moscow, we're now looking at the Russian foreign minister speaking.
again, live images that are coming through from Moscow, Iranian foreign minister who's present there. And uh, at this point, you're looking at the Russian foreign minister speaking. Uh, I believe we're just trying to uh, establish some kind of connection uh, for a translation, which we may not have been able to.